My name is Peter. I would like to show you my A320 home cockpit, um, some details, software and how the electronics are working for this um, Airbus home cockpit. Yeah, first of all, starting with the software, I am driving uh, Prepare 3D in background and um, for the Airbus system I am using uh, Freeware GHEL FMGS. You can get it um, as Freeware as I am using it just for private use. The home cockpit and um, the hardware, all panels and stuff are bought by Skalarki from the UK, so from Marsin as you may know him, and the side sticks and stuff like tillers, uh, they are from AST and German company, uh, which are very nice so far. Yeah, but indeed a lot of the home cockpit itself is home built like um, the whole structure and a lot of details are home built which I will show you later on. For the projection I'm using an HD uh, short distance projector and in the back I've just the, the front view and I'm using a white panel with uh, 240 in width and uh, 160 I think in, in height and this gives me this beautiful view to the front and I can switch um, with, uh, with switches to the left and to the right uh, to have a look into the left and the right. Yeah, what else? Um, the whole shell I'm um, showing you later on is uh, constructed in wood and um, yeah, the size of the whole cockpit is uh, 150 meters um, in the height or even in this direction and one uh, meter 70 are um, the width of the cockpit, is the width of the cockpit and um, yeah this is uh, due to the uh, limited space that I have here in this house uh, to uh, build up this cockpit. Yeah, what are the costs for this? Uh, to be honest I can't say and I don't want to say and never calculate it and I think this is a good idea. Don't calculate your home cockpit. Yeah, now we are coming to the overhead panel. Um, this is also Sus Kalarki. Um, we are here in Nuremberg Airport, and um, yeah, a lot of uh, or nearly all of the switches are working. Um, I can uh, dim the dome lights or even switch them off. I, maybe I leave it dimmed. Um, all switches are working like this but this is all uh, Scalarki built and I can dim the overhead panel so the light can be dimmed or even turned off and um, I built the Packflow um, fan system which is not running at the moment because we have no bleed air but when the APU is running and even the bleed air is coming up I can show you uh, what will happen if I turn the pack flow to normal or even high. Now it started to rain in Nuremberg, so it looks like a little cloudy. Yeah, um, what else? Um, I even have another uh, pedestrian light that is working. You may can't see it, it's over here. And um, yeah, I just bought these two lights. Um, I think it's from a, from a car supplier, I don't know. Uh, but they were very easy um, to build and you can see an introduction of how to build it on my website. Yeah, we are just waiting uh, for the APU that is it's coming up and then I can show you something special in my home cup because I provided such fans, now my head is... Yeah, here I have a fan outlet and once the bleed air is coming up, the pack flow is coming up to low at the moment. So this gives me a nice airflow here. And when I switch now to normal, it becomes higher. And even when I turn to high, yeah, there's really a lot of wind coming off um, the fans. So there are two fans installed on top of the roof. Um, and I can just um, yeah um, switch them by the pack flow switch. Which other details are here? 
Um, no, the, the rest is more or less uh, as bought from Scalaki. I just turned uh, some of the switches. They are from Cockpit Concept, I think, this coverage here. But uh, more or less, that's all from the overhead perspective. Yeah, now let's move forward with the window. Here, as you can see, I've built this window from wood and a lot of, uh, I don't know how it's called, plastic. Um, and uh, the measurements are nearly uh, real world, but I, I'm not sure. And even um, the rest, the lower of the window is not uh, from real world, but this yeah, is okay for me, even because I don't have uh, the width that I uh, needed um, to have it in a proper scale. Um, yeah, some tweaks that I'm using here. I have uh, magnets uh, built into that structure here, and I have um, um, metal plates here, and for that I can very easily mount my um, my iPad, which I need for navigation and stuff, and that's a very good idea. Uh, even if he loses, you have you don't have anything here, you can't see it, and then just put on um, the iPad here, and it's it's really strong enough to keep it there. And I have this installed on both sides, so we can exchange um, the iPads whenever we need. Yeah, in addition, I have, um, as I said already, I'm using uh, the AST side sticks, which um, yeah, feel really good. I don't, I can't compare with real um, side sticks as I don't fly in real aircraft. And um, yeah, for my limited space, I mounted the tiller right here. Um, yeah, and as you can see, I have to move a little bit further uh, forward, and then I can just use the um, the tiller. What I did also is I um, have this uh, have this light, this um, floodlight over here, and I can uh, dim it or even um, put it to bright, and that's also quite nice for the for the ambient of it. When I now switch off the lights, you can see this really looks nice. Yeah, in addition. I'm using um, headsets on both sides, so even from for first officer and for the captain. And I'm having a Pika microphone, which is very nice to talk um, with the ATC. So I'm flying on Vatsim or Ivao, and that's pretty nice. And I also can uh, reduce the uh, or switch the loudspeakers, so I have. Uh, one pair of loudspeakers on each side uh, which I can um, switch via the loudspeaker switches here so I can adjust the loudness of the speakers. Yeah, what else is here? I have the uh, quick reference handbook, self-made and I also have a checklist right here so yeah this with the normal checklist these are uh, the seats, they are from an uh, open car and um, I built this uh, wooden block here and it's mounted on, mounted on rails so I can move it to the left and to the right and even if it is to the right I can just uh, use the seat adjustment from the seat to move it forward and backward and um, yeah that's a pretty good idea, I saw it from anyone else so it's not my idea but this works pretty nice and um, on the lower of the box there are uh, roads uh, four roads which moves it left and right and even this one you can see on my website and um, below the seat I have a bus shaker on both sides to give this nice feeling when the when the uh, engine is running um, which gives another uh, realistic feeling on uh, the aircraft. Yeah, so thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed this uh, virtual walk around on my Airbus 320 home cockpit and uh, hope to see you soon. Bye!